Wilson, welcome back to Australia. What an absolutely amazing performance. How's the response been from coming home? It's been really good, man. Like, seen all these familiar faces and heaps of new ones as well. You know, it's all the reason why I do the boxing and you know, it's really nice to see. Really nice to see. Must be an amazing feeling coming home to this reception. It's great. You know, like a, it's a credit to my hard work and just where I'm in life at the moment and you know, it's, it's re quite re rewarding. What are the positive takeaways from the trip? Obviously, heartbreak with the fight, but you learned so much, you learned so much about yourself. Yeah, that's, I think you learn a lot about yourself. Um, it's a great, ultimately it's a good experience. You know, I can see where I was, uh, things I did wrong, I believe, in the, tra in the training camp. Um, it was a great experience, you know, I'm, I'm early in my career, I'm 26. So that was my third in fight, and I've heaps more growing to do. And uh, yeah, make no mistake about it, I will be back. Just a little chink in the, in the journey. A lot of people will let this kind of fight define their career on the big world stage. What's it mean to you? Has it inspired you to go harder? Yeah, definitely. Like, for me, it's just inspired me. I pick up my fours and you know, I'm, I'm this close. And, I, and I, you know, some say I should have won or could have won. You know, for me, I didn't get my hand raised and that's all, that's all it sits with me. And um, I'm excited to get back to where I was and show everyone that uh, I can be world champion. You had the whole team with you, You're, you've taken All-Star with you, only a certain amount of, of the trainers could go, Benny and such, but the entire gym was behind you, and you had such strong support over there, you know, the whole team, how did all that feel? It was good, you know, we, we based ourselves out of a gym, where it was a, it was a family bond sort of thing, like for seven, eight weeks we were there, everyone was behind me, we were, we were all working together, training was really good. I had my trainers there with me and they were giving me their advice, and, and they, were, they, were, they were as well. It was like another set of eyes over what we were doing. And it was kind of, it was refreshing. And it was good for me to be you know, so far in my career, to have help from other, other trainers that were high up in the sport. And how important is that to have the right team behind you when you're on you know, these massive fights on the world stage? Yeah, very important. You know, I obviously have the confidence with my trainers, but to have two guys that have been there and done it, it was uh, just another little, I don't know, just a bit of pride you had going into the fight as well. Well accepted in America, do you see yourself going back there on the regular? I would go, um, I'll definitely go back there. Definitely go back there for training. If the fight's right, I'll go back there. Maybe a rematch, but um, no. If the fight's right, I'll definitely go back there. And upon reflection, what did Navarrete have to say to you after the fight, and how do you feel about it? Um, I didn't really have too much to speak to him about it. I, um, I did speak to him <clears throat> as I was going back to my room. He was staying two, two rooms down from me. And I think just uh, in the moment, I was like, hey, would you do a rematch? And he's like, yeah, I would. I'll come to Australia. You know, that's his say though, you know, the management and all the people above, above him in the sport world, you know, it's up to them, but yeah, no, I don't know. And how much credit goes to the team, your manager, your promoter for making this happen, no limit, Steve Scanlon? Yeah, honestly, I, I, I do owe it all, all to them. You know, they've backed me since, uh, you know, for my whole career. You know, when I lost to Noina, they still stuck by me. And, um, you know, they made the fight happen as well. So I'm very fortunate and I feel very lucky getting the opportunity. And most of all, I feel very, very thankful. And, um, you know, hopefully I can get back to another big fight just like that. What does 2023 hold for you? A bit of time with the family in the first part of the year? Mate, I've had a, had a few weeks off with the family now. I want to get back to training on Monday. I'm injury free, thankfully. And um, start working towards the next one. Whatever that is, I'm not too sure. But, um, yeah, I'm ready to fight whoever. Fight whoever and get in the hard fights. And well, I'm, I'm excited. Liam Wilson, the country is proud, the Australian boxing community is proud. We have a new champion, whether you get the W in the column or not, yeah. mate. We, we can't thank you enough for all your efforts. Well done. Thank you, Rob. I really do appreciate it. Like I said, it's very overwhelming and it's surprised me even. And I thank you guys so much.